Alright, as I've said before, it is never ending. Out here taking soffit downs and like investigating anything that's undocumented. So we got this flying roof. And it's undocumented. And I remember the day that guy had put a little roof up. It's kind of like a two by six roof. And the homeowner didn't like it. The architect didn't like it. They said it needed to match the rest of the house. I told him to fix it. But that's all they told him. They didn't give him any plans or anything. But this is what happens when you tell somebody like that to fix it. So apparently what he has done, I guess rightfully so, he didn't figure he could hold a two foot flat roof, cantilevered off the side of the house without, not cantilevered, bolted to the side of the house. So he cut through the sheathing, through the one inch rim board, through the 16 inch TGI. I figure that's five and a half inch, two by six, inch and a half there, and I'm guesstimating an inch and a half up there. Nine, 10 inches of the TGI. Is that right? Let's see. All right. Or that nine of the TGI are missing. And that's the support for that exterior wall. Which may or may not be as dramatic as perhaps I'm making it sound, but the other scary thing is you know, all this stuff interacts with each other. And I guess that's why I'm beginning to understand more and more and appreciate the level of redundancy that engineers put in their designs. Because one engineer might look at this and then go look at the plans and say, okay, that's probably gonna be all right. But the plans do not reflect the structure because the other undocumented change is when that individual cut the I-beam in half, the cantilevered I-beam, and changed direction of the joists. Now, where this exterior wall would only be carrying itself, basically, now it's, in, it's carrying the entire roof load of the bedroom, which is a flat roof with parapets on it. And if that's not right, water starts piling up on it, you're putting a whole hell of a lot of load on what's left of that TGI. So, go figure. I mean, I just finished making a video, or several videos. You know, I was up there removing sheetrock for the engineer to check the welds. I said, oh, well, let me just check the bolts. At least 50% of the bolts bolting the steel to the column, to the knife plate of the uninspected, unengineered weld, they're not, they're not tightened. You can just take your fingers and back them off. So, it's just... But according to the fella that was responsible for this, there's nothing wrong with this house and I'm just creating trouble to make a profit. I'm not the one creating the trouble, I'm just trying to fix it. Hunter and Doobie have been over in that attic for two days. There's just no 
didn't follow the plans at all. No mechanical fasteners, no hangers, no hurricane tie downs. I mean, that entire fly rafter get the right gust of wind and it would just blow the whole damn thing right off the side of the gable. Nothing holding it down. No mechanical fasteners anyway. Some air nails, I guess. Haven't even started looking for those. But the only reason we even found out about that, let's go look at that. This guy thinks I'm just cutting holes and wasting time and money and the woman should have been in the house. Well, he never put an attic access in the garage. So I went to cut one in, according to plans and according to code. Well, when I opened it up, we had the lucky advantage of not having spray foam all over the ceilings or the roof structure like we do in the main house. We just had bad insulation on top of the sheetrock. So we could see how the replacement framers frame the overhangs. I don't know if you see, that's one of the repairs. If you see that perpendicular two by 10 with the hanger on it, that's what the plans called for. And then on that side, when the fly raptor bears on top of the girder, you, I don't know if you can see it, there's a hurricane tie down. And they're supposed to be on every one. So Hunter and Doobie have been up here sweating their balls off, going back and correcting all this according to the plans and according to the direction of the engineer to correct it. But this tells us that everything we can't see is constructed the same way. Oh, that's the engineer now. I gotta go.